I don't watch Low Tier God. I've seen a lot of clips in the past of him BMing opponents in fighting games and stuff, and I always found those really funny. There's a lot of like toxic in there. There's a lot of problematic and bigoted in there as well. I don't know like how this came up. I don't know what his broader recent views on trans rights or whatever have been, uh, but this is pretty good. Uh, so I'll take it. Like, obviously I'm not gonna be like, oh my God, Low Tier God is like a trans activist, the, the best ally we have, because like, I just don't know. So you just wait and see. And it seems like he has changed and grown as a person, uh, like the memes have suggested. Oh yeah, this happened. Okay, champs in the chat. How are you guys living in 2023 with all the shit that we've seen growing up? And you motherfuckers really be astonished and blown away when somebody wants to change their gender. It should be like... You know what it should feel like when somebody wants to wants to change their gender? It should be like you just woke up and smelled the air. Like it, it should just be normal at this point. That's literally what I'm saying. That is like literally low tier god here who does have a past of being very toxic generally, like in a variety of metrics. Transphobia, homophobia being part of that. Now I always think it's funny when I see those clips, but I am also not the standard queer person, right? Like, I make a lot of the same jokes that Low Tier God might be making. I just have more of a license to make them, uh, at least the ones that are disparaging to the communities that I'm a part of, like the queer community and whatever else. Uh, but I'm, you know, part of those communities, that makes sense. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> that's like what I keep saying is the end goal of the fight for queer liberation. It's not that like queer people are valorized and like, oh my God, they're like God's gift to the earth and these are people that are above others or whatever. It's literally to make somebody coming out as gay, trans, whatever, be on the same level of like, yeah, I also enjoy watching professional football. It's like, okay, cool. Good for you. That should be what it, it should be at that level of importance to a person to hear it. But because we live in a society where it's negatively viewed in a lot of aspects to be queer, whatever there becomes a reason to like valorize it, to puff it up, to have pride parades, for instance, where it's more of a protest than anything else. Because obviously pride started as a protest and it is ever since then until you actually get to equality. The point is not to have queer people be like better than others or whatever. It's to make people understand that they are just normal people like everybody else. And like Low Tier God says, if you find out somebody is trans, that should be like waking up and smelling the air. This should be a normal thing. Like, who gives a shit? Like, the, the average median voter's opinion on people being gay, trans, whatever, should be like, cool, why do I give a fuck? They're living their life, I'm living mine. <laughs> I seen the tweet, and I was like, why are people in an outrage for this dude wanting to, like, be whoever the fuck he is? Like, or... I don't know if they've actually labeled themselves as something else, but it just doesn't bother me. Like, I feel like... I, feel I think he's talking about um, Chris, uh, the Mr. Beast affiliate, who's been getting a lot of shit from people on the right for being on hormones and being gender nonconforming. I think Chris uses any pronouns. I feel like if you're upset over somebody's sexuality, you got something going on in your personal mental to maybe where you're not sure of what you are. Because if you're a real actual masculine man, it shouldn't bother you what somebody else does. Like, it shouldn't have bothered you if Dwayne Wade's, uh, if, if Dwayne Wade's you know, such and such turn wanted to decide to be a daughter instead of a son. Like, it's not. That <laughs> I, I love how hard he seems to be trying to be politically correct here. All right. Because this is a problem a lot of like more normie people that are not deep in the sauce of queer activism. This is like the difficulty a lot of people have when it comes to language. You don't want to step on any toes. You want to try to be as nice as possible, but you're not as familiar with it because you're not in the mix. Right. So, like, it's difficult for him to be like, oh, well, Dwayne Wade had a son, but now Dwayne Wade's son, you know, identifies as a girl, so his daughter now... Like, it, it is confusing, and it's understandably so, right? Like, even I will trip up every now and again when doing all this, but what should happen from them is you should catch yourself and be like, oh, my apologies, and then correct yourself, right? Or, like, if you don't notice it and somebody corrects you, you'd be like, oh, shit, my bad, and then go on from that. That should be the response, Right? Like, there will be people who take it too far, like, people on the left who are, like, really traumatized or whatever, and, like, get mad or whatever. But I think, generally speaking, as long as you're willing to show that you're putting in the effort, you're a normal person. Congratulations, you've done it. And, of course, people on the right are just absurd when it comes to it. <laughs> like, people will go out of their way to intentionally misgender, even though they accidentally correctly gender the person the first time. 
that big of a deal. Like it's the it's just the normality. It's either you practice the shit or you don't. But it shouldn't it shouldn't like really fuck with you. Like damn, what the fuck? Like I I don't know. Like I don't watch low tier God. I've seen a lot of clips in the past of him BMing opponents in fighting games and stuff. And I always found those really funny. There's a lot of like toxic shit in there. There's a lot of problematic and bigoted shit in there as well. And you can have whatever takes you want on that. I don't know like how this came up. I don't know what his broader recent views on trans rights or whatever have been. Uh, but this is pretty good. And it seems like he has changed and grown as a person uh, like the memes have suggested other people do as well. Okay, Chim. Uh, so I'll take it. Like, obviously, I'm not going to be like, oh my God, Lutzer God is like a fucking trans icon activist, uh, the best ally we have. Because like, I just don't know. I don't know the broader shit going on here. He could be trolling. I don't fucking know. So you just wait and see, right? For further inputs from Lotzer God on these kinds of issues. And from there, you judge if this person actually has changed in that way or not. That should be the reasonable, rational response to somebody who has had a bigoted past changing, or at least looking like they're changing, from the people that are more hesitant about accepting them and that change. You shouldn't immediately discount that there actually could be genuine character development here. You should just wait and see. That's good. And like, there's this one here. So that like this clip came up from this dumbass. Me like, no shot, y'all fall for this. I don't fucking know. This is um. I think he got into like a scandal in the past about some trans woman. I think in the fighting game community for Street Fighter, where he was like being transphobic. Eventually, I think he did put out an apology though for that. And it was a long time ago. I think this clip, I, I was looking in the comments of it, and people are saying it's like three years ago. Um, but essentially, like, what are you saying here? It's like, oh, you're a coward for, like, not getting bottom surgery, essentially, if you're saying you're trans or whatever. Which, like, literally me, if I'm BMing an opponent, I could, like, say similar things here. But I'm also trans, right? Like, I'm in the queer community, and it gives me more license to make those kinds of, like, jokes or BM or whatever. It's still rude. It's still mean, yeah. Uh, but it's not going to have the same level of bigotry because you look at my broader body of work and you understand like, oh, no, I'm not actually a transphobe, right? Uh, so like there is a past where Lotzer God was not like the best on this issue. Apparently things have changed. Also, didn't he? He got unbanned on Twitch, right? Like he was banned on Twitch for a while. And now he's got unbanned on Twitch. And he's yeah, this is Twitch chat. He's streaming on Twitch again. I, I don't know enough about what led to that ban and then what led to that unban. Like, maybe, like, he literally, like, has changed and grown as a person, demonstrated that to Twitch, got unbanned, and now he's trying to, like, live that. It's possible. We'll see. But, like, I, I think at least in terms of the commentary, the words that we're seeing here, that should be, like, the normie response. Like, you find out somebody's trans, poggers, and then you move on with your day. <laughs> yeah, like, you have to be truly deranged to have any other kind of response.